long time no tight. Long time no tight. <laughs> so I want to do a basic to body transformation. Um, as you guys know, I recently purchased this got to be glue. So I'm really trying it out. Wait, I'm too hot. <laughs> so I want to try this again. This time I'm going to change tactics a little bit because I want, I wish my bought my wig cap was brown, but I can't find a brown wig cap anyway. But what I want to do is apply this got to be glued more on the wig cap. I should probably cut this band off, but I will probably do that bold cap method when I have a brown wig cap. I'm not a hair expert guys, I'm trying shit out. I definitely know that I can learn stuff, I can pretty, I can grasp things pretty quickly, which is why I'm literally just practicing, that's what this is about, I'm practicing, practice makes perfect, and so yeah. Someone in the comments of my last vlog did say that I should try just use my body temperature to let this heat up and stick down. But I do want it to be a little bit tacky before I put the wig on and then it can continue to dry down as I do my makeup. So I'm taking this straight wig. I don't even know where it's from. Just real quick. for the best <laughs> we're gonna do brows first I have new brow products but this is new I'm gonna use this uh, give me brow brow conditioner to bring my brows upwards to aid us in a feathery sort of natural brow look my motivation for doing this video or this tutorial is because an IG story of mine got so much love from you guys this weekend when I was out at lunch and so many of you asked for a tutorial and I'm so confused because I that is just my everyday look which I've done a thousand and one times on my channel and every time I look like that people want a tutorial and I'm just like I have done this 10 million times like there's nothing new but I'm gonna do it today with a bit of extra sass so I'm taking my Benefit Brow Contour Pro, which is this beauty over here. And this is really nice because the pencil will give you a really, now crayon will give you a really nice, precise brow. It's just takes too long to dry. So what we want to do is to start drawing these strokes. One defining line underneath and have those strokes come from that line. I'm taking my Goof Proof Brow Pencil, the one with the bristles, and I'm just combing this upwards. I'm taking my Inglot Concealer, and I'm gonna start defining the brow. That literally took me 10 minutes. Let's move on to skin. I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Just want some hydration. I'm taking my, ooh, that's unplanned. I'm taking my Smashbox Foundation Stick. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation in the shade 4.1. And I'm just taking this all over. I'm opting for a foundation stick because I want my makeup to be very smooth. 
and very like airbrushed looking. I'm taking my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Brush and I'm gonna buff this into the skin. I know foundation sticks are very daunting and um, a little bit intimidating because a bit of anxiety. <laughs> I feel like this highly depends on the look you want to accomplish. And as we head into autumn and winter, I'm just thinking that we can get away with using foundation sticks because you want to look dewy, you want to look plump and lush. So I'm thinking in my mind, this is a good idea. So that's a really nice finish to have for any basic to badly look. Moving on to concealer, I'm going in with my favorite, <laughs> LA Girl Fawn. This never steered me wrong and once again, I like a water-based concealer when using a cream-based foundation. I just think the combos, the combos communicate, you know, it's not too heavy and the textures juxtapose each other, making for a overall not too heavy application of product. We are definitely cream contouring. I wouldn't really do this on the weekend, but I just want to take it there. <laughs> and I'm only going to cream contour my jawline. I'm going to stay clear of that for my, I mean, my cheek. I'm going to stay clear of that for my jawline. I'm just going to rely on powder for that. taking the excess which is on this brush and I'm taking that to my jawline so of course I bake when I'm doing any look especially when I'm using a cream product I'm just taking my Sasha buttercup powder which is obviously what I love when my focus is skin and I'm just taking this underneath the eye and just over the nose. For the rest of my face, I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown Pressed Powder in the shade Golden Brown. And I'm just applying this where my bake didn't go. I'm still on skin. I'm going to contour with my Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder. And it's, that's the shade Deep 4. And I'm powder contouring my cheekbones. This is also where I contour my jawline. To warm up my cheeks, I'm taking my MAC Cosmetics Sun Power MSF Natural and I'm just warming up my cheeks. And this is as far as, this is all I do in terms of like adding color and blush. Uh, a natural look that I love to do all the time, especially on the weekend, is very neutral and not really any eyeshadow. So I literally just continue using my bronzer and I place that in my eyeshadow area. It keeps everything monochromatic and fresh. So you just seep this with a big fluffy brush all over the lid. It's the perfect thing to do when you're super lazy. What you need to focus on with a routine like this is your skin. If you perfect your skin, anything, everything else is pretty much falls into place and is easy. 
my waterline pencil from Urban Decay is literally on its last leg. So I'm taking this um, liner from Wet n Wild. It's a really stark white, not my favorite. I'm still in my bronzer powder, in my bronzing powder. And I'm taking a more uh, detailed brush. This one is the Sigma Exact Blend E32. And I'm placing this color just below my eyeliner work. Even if it covers up a little bit of the liner, that's perfectly fine. Because it is a pretty stark white. We just want the effect of a brightened waterline. You can take a larger shader brush if you just want to tidy that up and blend it up. Lashes I'm using are from Lash Addict Lashes. I came across these in clicks. They are amazing. I really enjoy them. So I'm opening a set called Heartbreak. They're $2.50 for a set, but they're just so fluffy and beautiful. So for mascara, I'm taking my new Benefit Roller Lash. Now to just dust away any excess. I'm going in with my bronzing powder, my contour powder. And I'm using this very sparingly, very lightly. Just to create a shadow. My favorite lip combo of the moment is MAC Chestnut because I'm taking this look to new heights. I'm doing an overline slightly, but not too much. I'm taking my Stila liquid lipstick in Fear or Fire. Over that lipstick, I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Universal Lip Gloss. Highlights, I'm taking my MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Beaming Blush. And I I will repurchase and repurchase and repurchase. So let me. favorite straightener this is the glam palm absolute styling wide iron and I'm just using this too okay guys so this is my finished look uh, it's my everyday or my weekend neutral makeup look. I just added a little bit of extra with the gloss and eyelashes are just a little bit, a little bit extra. But skin is the same. The, fo the focus here is on skin, brows, lashes and lips. Well, that's pretty much everything. Never mind. Skin and lashes. <laughs> And then just making sure that like everything is neutral, there's no eyeshadow. We just use our bronzer for eyeshadow to as blush and um, just to add the warmth that we want to our face. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, 
leave comments down below what you want to see next and i will see you guys next week